This is going to go into the script and the command keys. These two kind of go hand in hand uh, for any live event operator who will be programming and running a spider on a show using multiple sources. Kind of takes all the information that we've gathered so far and just finishes it up. There are plenty more features. Obviously, you can take this class with Christy over the course of a few days. This is just the very basics that I can teach. So we drag earlier we dragged out these um, sources right into the windows that they would be showing in on program and on preview. But what we want to do instead, uh, every time, and this is the proper way, is to drag our sources down into the script. So before we move on, an important step is to go to Tools and Options. I want to make sure this box is checked. Allow hardware acceleration. Down here at the Command Key Grid, we want to make most of our command keys relative, and we always want to create using mixers. Mixers are what allow our sources to transition smoothly instead of unloading to black and then loading a new window, which is not only slow, but painful to watch. So that's taken care of. Let's make a preset for Graphics 1. Drag Graphics 1 down into uh, Q1 for Program. Right click it and convert to mixer. And take, oh. let's just make sure all these properties are correct. We want, we've got morph, mix, mix through black, and true mix. Uh, these changes can be subtle. You just have to play with them and see how they are affected visually. This is going to be uh, the transition effect between sources. Size and location, we want this pixel space to be the projector. It's on layers one and two. The start queue and the queue length, start queue is one, and then the queue length is two. So it's uh, in and out. You can change the duration of your entrance and the duration of the exit. So the next thing we'll do is we'll drag graphics one into layer three. We're going to convert that to a mixer. And this time our pixel space is going to be the downstage monitor. Now once we've clicked that, it's going to start loading what we've got. It puts it into program and it puts it into preview. I don't understand why the spider designates preview above the program because really this, the next step in the script is the preview. What we want to do next is make sure our command keys window is open. We're going to right click, add from preview. We're going to name it graphics one, hit OK. Click preview just to uh, highlight our command and make sure, yes, it is relative. If we wanted to change the color, we could. And the next thing we want to do is add an off element and drag it out across all of our available layers. And this just ensures that if there's any other extra stuff, maybe for example, if we brought out a pip for some reason, that it will be wiped away for our graphics one preset. Next thing we'll do is we'll hold down control and drag graphics one over and let go. Let go of the mouse, let go of control. We're gonna name this graphics two. I'm gonna go ahead and load it up. Take our source and drag it over our existing resource. Now graphics one is graphics two. Load it into preview. If you click program, you'll load it into program. You can go down here, load graphics one into preview, hit program, and loads graphics one. And now you've got a working show that smoothly transitions between two sources. Let's go ahead and make another copy. Hold control, drag it over, let go, change this to cam one, 
highlight it. Remove camera. We don't want camera in our DSM. Now, let me take it to program. There it is. We'll go back to graphics two. We'll go back to graphics one. Let's say what we wanted to do instead was graphics and notes or camera and graphics. So we'll just do graphics and notes. Load this up. Use graphics one as our program and graphics two as our notes computer. And that way, our presenter can see his notes and the viewers can see the graphics. We'll make a copy. Cam and notes. Load it up. Put our camera in graphics one. So now we've got graphics one on both, graphics two on both, graphics one and two, camera and graphics two. These are all uh, lots of options for running a show. And that covers it for the very basics. This is enough to get a simple show running.